guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Maggie Baruco. Maggie sent me this really disturbing story and once again it's coming from our third favorite state, ghetto ass Georgia. So what's going on now in Georgia, you ask? What's going on is that we have a 34-year-old woman. She met a guy online on this website called baddude.com and basically on Christmas Eve they decide to meet up for a date. She goes to meet up with him at the day's end. He ends up supposedly taking her to the Waffle House, and then that's where the shit hits the fan. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip real quick. Go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my comments. We met on a dating website phone app called Badu.com, where the suspect displayed several photos of himself under the screen name King Luciano, but he told her his name was Cash. They agreed to meet at the day's Inn in College Park on Christmas Eve. From there, he took her out to dinner at the Waffle House on Old National Highway. But he decided the dinner was too expensive, she told police, and asked her to take him back to the hotel. On the way on Sullivan Road, he pulled out a gun and ordered her to stop the car and give him her purse and her cell phone. She gives him the purse, and as she's attempting to get out of the car, he shoots her in the face. It was so methodical, it has police desperate to find him. Based on how calm she said it was, when he did it, it would appear that he has did it before and he's kind of perfected it and he'll probably do it again. He told her he was from Nashville, but police say that could be a lie. She told police the pictures on the app are the man she met. That's why police want the public to see them. They're also hopeful this crime could be a learning experience. When you uh, go to these social media websites for dating, you have to be careful of the people you meet because most of the time the profile they put on there it's not really them. All right, so you guys just watched the news clip, and a lot of things disturb me with this story. First of all, let me say there's nothing wrong with online dating. There's a lot of sane people online. There's a lot of people who have met, you know, their boyfriends, their husbands, their girlfriends on the Internet. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing wrong with online dating, but you have to be smart. You know what I mean? So my thing is there's a lot of red flags in this story. First of all, why the hell are y'all going on a date on Christmas Eve? It's like the next day is Christmas. Does he, not does he not have family? Does she not have family? Second of all, why would you meet a man that you don't know at a motel? So that was red flag number one. She should not have met him at a motel. Red flag number two, he decides to take her to the Waffle House. Now y'all know Waffle Houses are all over Atlanta. Waffle Houses are not that damn expensive. If a dude cannot afford to get you a damn Waffle House meal that's under $5, if he can't afford to buy you some grits and eggs, he could have got some grits and eggs for a dollar a piece at the Waffle House. If he couldn't afford that, that should have been a red flag right there. She should have gotten her car and drove the hell home. But instead, she decided to give him a lift back to the motel. You know what I'm saying? Then at that point in time, he decides to rob her and then shoot her in her face. I mean, this whole situation is really, really tragic, but she made a lot of mistakes. And on top of that, she didn't have his real name. She didn't really know who he was. He went by King Luciano. And then he had the nerve to tell that his real name was Cash. We have to start making better decisions. We have to be smart, especially when it comes to online dating. And especially when you're a female, you have too many predators out here. You have a lot of crazy guys out here. You know what I'm saying? And like they said in the news report, he was so calm about the situation. It's almost like he's done this before. I mean, that's really creepy when somebody's calm about shooting another human being in the face. I mean, when you're calm about that, that just shows right there that you're mentally unstable. So I wish this woman a speedy recovery. But ladies, we have to be smart. This is not the first time I've done a video about somebody getting robbed in Jack via a guy that they met online. If you guys remember about a year ago, we had that story about that thirsty ass girl down in Florida who somebody happened to call her phone, it was the wrong number, and instead of her hanging up and going by her day, she invites the guy over, they go for a drive, and the guy ends up basically pulling out a gun and robbing her, stealing her car, stealing her money, and everything else. So the whole situation is just insane. We have to be smart ladies and be careful out here with online dating. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with it, but just be smart. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment with your thoughts on this entire ghetto-ass story that's once again coming from our third favorite state, ghetto-ass Georgia. All right, deuces.